Hello everybody, welcome back to Dragon Quest VIII, diving in dumpsters with the boys, and we're gonna go treasure hunting, which means I need to cast the magical spell called Zoom. I am chilling with Tyler, he's playing Dragon Quest XI, he's Hello. in the Mangle Grove, getting mangled and groved. I can't zoom, oh, I can't zoom because the game wants me to run back. I think I can zoom right when I leave the town. There's like a cutscene, right? And Trode's like, You must help this poor little man. Hmm. I see. He sees. Magnificent! <laughs> what a dutiful maid. Worrying about her master so. I am impressed. That's good. A faithful retainer like her oh. is a most precious treasure to a king. And you say she's about the same age as my dear Medea? Roughly. Yeah, sorry the mattress could not fit. I had no idea how much stuff was in our attic. Like, I had not been up there in, like, years. My dad took it home with him. I have no idea what he's going to do with it. So it's not a big deal. Burn it. Probably. That's what Katie said, too. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Uh, um, Boomerang build seems good, because you so often get groups of enemies. Because mm -hmm. the first time I fought a group of three enemies in his first round he did 25 damage because he hits everybody yeah Off we go. We must lend a hand to this delightful maid of yours. there are some characters that get whips as well um what are you doing for what did you first what did you name your main hero corn corn okay mm -hmm. i was gonna guess that actually um mm -hmm. what build are you going for there um, I've been using a great sword. Great swords are very good on not hard mode, in my opinion. Um, I would be it prepared to maybe respec him, because I do think like if you are in a min maxi mood, technically, the very best weapons in the game for him are regular swords. Regular swords, but it's not a huge swing. Mm hmm either way it's extra good with the boomerang right now mm -hmm. because his single target's so high right he finishes oh. off enemies that eric like weakens like you can attack like the one eric did least damage to and just pop him exactly like you can be pretty strategic about it and get hit like very few times yep that's um dragon quest 8 i always have there's a character called jessica uh, she always uses whips for me. And whips are similar to boomerangs. Mm -hmm. um, and then I have my other characters like... Like, you have three other party members and it's like, okay, figure out who does how much damage to what and how much it took from the whip in trying to, like, take enemies down in as few attacks as humanly possible. It's like a fun little math game when you don't know the exact value of enemies' HP. Like, you have a rough idea. Like, I'm like, yeah, this enemy has about 40 HP, right? But it is one of the things I enjoy about some turn-based combat. Um, is there any purpose to being able to move around the battle area, or is it just for fun? Just for fun. Okay. I thought so, but yep. I figured I'd check. Totally just for fun. I like to do it. I mean, it's like, cool. Yeah, if I see, like, an interesting enemy... I like to do it and just, like, take a look at the model and all that kind of stuff. I mean, it doesn't negatively affect anything, so it's like, why not have it, right? Ooh, I don't know which direction I go from here. Oh my god. These Ooh. random enemies have almost murdered me in Dragon Quest VIII. They double flame breathed. Rip. Okay, everyone. Uh, this is one of the rare times that I will use heal all. Campsite! Oh my god. I used... Tw I, ca I had to cast 11 heals to heal everyone to full there. That's a lot of heals. That's a lot of heals. That's 22 MP. When the character that has the most MP doesn't know heal. And their MP is at 55. 
Yeah, I really wish Jessica knew a heal spell. She's like, no, I blow shit up. And Jessica is a wizard, not a cleric. She's like, I will cast Fireball. But Jessica, we're all dead. I cast Fireball. Are there wizards that heal them? No. No? No, wizards do not get heal spells. None at all. No. That's an overthink. You'd, you'd think there would be some wizard out there that was like, man, I should really learn how to heal other people. Or at the very least, stock up from a lot of schools. The fun size forge. Oh, the fun size forge. So that, you, okay. Here's a pro tip. Gear that you like buy or find, you can rework on the forge to try to get it to plus three. Mm-hmm. Um, but... Also, just any gear you make, you can get to, like, a plus three. And a lot of times, you will be making gear that is better than stuff you can buy. It's about finding materials for it. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, the best late-game items you make in the Forge. I like the Forge a lot. Like, I like the Dragon Quest A Alchemy Pot. But I find the Forge minigame kind of fun. It's similar to, um... Crafting in Final Fantasy 14, actually. Mm. In some ways. Like, you're balancing how many times you can do something with getting it just to, like, the right amount. Gotcha. Um, it's good. But... No, the Fun Size Forge is nice. I like it a lot. So, the problem with... Having the non-S version, the non-Switch version of the game, or in what's going to be the S version when it comes out on PC and, like, whenever. Mm -hmm. um, is you have to be at a campfire to use the Forge. On the Switch version, you can just pop the Forge out anywhere. It's really convenient. Like, it's just, like, a menu option. And I think that would have been the better way for them to do it. Although it's not that bad. Once you get... You're watching my stream. Once you get zoom, because you can just like teleport to a campfire. Then, gotcha. It's before you can do that. You're like, oh, I have to run to this fucking campfire to forge my goddamn piece of shit copper sword. You know? You get like a lot of boomerang recipes. I don't know if any of them are good because I've never made them. Because I've never had him use boomerangs, but I imagine they are. You also get a good boomerang for doing a quest soon. I just got one that's pretty good. Like, it's on par with the dagger he had, and it now hits multiple people. Yeah. I guess I'll make this bronze sword, because that's how I get perfectionist pearls, apparently. Yes. So just making stuff gets you perfectionist pearls, and that lets you rework stuff. You can also sell the stuff you make at, like, a pretty good value. Like a plus two or three bronze sword is like almost 300 gold to sell. Wow. So like just making stuff you have materials for and selling it and then using the perfectionist pearls to actually rework the gear you want works pretty well. Great focus cost, 50. And yes, I'm not talking about Dragon Quest Eight right now because we're fighting tree faces which I did a lot of in the last episode and talked about, but, like, I think you know how tree face fights go. They heal themselves, I attack them a lot, eventually they all die. It takes a while. Bang! Got him. <laughs> so instead I am helping explain things about Dragon Quest XI that I don't remember if the game explains. I don't think it I don't think it ever explains that you can rework like gear you buy with the pearls. I had never thought to try it. Like, but it I mean, in retrospect, it's like, yeah, why wouldn't you be able to? You so you want it as close to the end of the green bar as possible. No, right? the middle. No. That the little middle. arrow in the middle of the green bar. I also thought it was the end of the green bar for a while. No, it's like right in the middle of that little green bar. In harder equipment, we'll have a tinier green bar. So it looks like it's at 30 is the number you want to hit when you appraise it. For a certain thing, yeah. I never appraise stuff. 
that one. Don't put me over. I think I did early, but now I just don't. Oh my god. Oh, uh, so that one's actually... I can either be six below it or six above it. Most likely, so... And again, like, each each swing you do reduces... Oh my god, my main character just died. Actually, three of my characters just died. I might wipe to this Chimera. Dude. It's just breathing fire on me every turn, and it's like 30 AoE damage. And my characters have like 80 to 100 HP. Hey, I got a plus one. Nice. I'm gonna try to rework a little. Okay. Um, I have wipe. Beautiful. That is the first wipe in a while, everybody. The double Wait, sleep work. in that chimera not dying. Thank you. Oh no, I lost half my money. Which is like a significant amount of gold, but I can't spend it anyway. Um, okay. Uh, let's try again. I got a perfect one. Oh, hi, Spirit. Oh, like so it was right in the middle? Or a perfect it's hole? It's gold, item? even. No, just the one bar. Is there any way to, like, get better at it? Is there just random? Um, you get skills later. You see those flourishes? Mm. You get those as your character levels up. Gotcha. In that it lets you do different stuff. Like, you'll get something that has you do, like, a double power hit. Or a half power hit, right? Mm. Makes sense. So you get better as you go. Good lord. Every fight having these chimeras that do a trillion damage is getting annoying. Oh, bat, if you put my characters to sleep, I'm gonna hey. be real upset. Well, we're gonna take like 30 AoE damage because one of my characters got put to sleep. He just pecked. Never mind. I wish he did that more. What was that? Coden left the air wrestling behind oh. me. It was like a weirdly tinny. Sounded like Coda was like barking into a tin can. What? I just need the noise. Oh. And I thought it. I just heard a noise and I was confused. I'm like, what does my wife need? I am a good husband. I will appease my wife. Yeah. I hate that these fat bats just rub their ass on my face to attack me. Is that why you almost killed my character? I almost killed all of your characters, to be fair. Not you just yours. What? Lucky is the only one who, went, who didn't go down, right? Sondam's out technically didn't go down. Mm, that's right. Does he have relentless endurance? Yes. Okay, that's good. He is a half orc. Phew. He used it in that fight. Yeah, I know. I need to remember that when I kill something, I gain 10 HP for it. It would be really... Only with your sword, though. Right? No. No? No. It's, uh, my Dark One's Blessing. Oh. Ah. My wife is talking about her D&D character, and that she needs to remember that when she kills things, she gets HP, because HP is a very good thing to have in D&D. Especially when I'm squishy. Especially when she has, like, 50 max HP? 58. 58. And that fight, when I used the Supreme Green Potion, brought me from 5 to 56. <laughs> you actually, like, full healed from that potion. Yes. It was necessary. That's hilarious, though. It was my only Supreme Potion. I like that, like, Sondem's out almost died. That's rare. No. That's a tanky character. I was scared. He has 21 AC. I mean, to be fair, you crit him a lot. I attacked him a lot. He he stood there and took it. I'm just happy you didn't crit me for once. Yeah, I don't think I crit you at all. I think I was, like, almost only critting Sondims out. I think I crit like, Mordai. Uh, Kaldaren a lot. Did I crit you a lot last night, Tyler? A couple times. 
Just once, I think. Maybe twice. I thought it was just once as well, but... It might have been just once. I could have sworn there were two. Heather says there are two, but... I don't know. I don't think battle notes. I also don't take battle notes. I don't think anybody does. I don't take battle notes as a DM or a player. I used to take battle notes. Oh, God. That sounds horrible. No. It was just like a table. I had your names. I just really quick, like, wrote down what damage you did. Mm. And to what. Oh, like, there is a treasure chest over here. So my treasure chest hunting has finally given me a return of a singular treasure chest. It's only taken 50 minutes to one hour, somewhere in there. I need to find treasure chests, though, because I can't buy gear. So are all copper choppers plus threes going to be the same? Or does getting, like, a perfection on the Fun Forge make it a slightly better copper chopper plus it, three? All plus threes will be the same. All plus twos, all plus ones will be the same. So there's really no reason to get it, like, perfect? As long as you can get it a plus three without it being perfect. Like, a perfect lets you mess up a little bit more in certain areas. But right? as long as you get everything to the green bar, it doesn't make a difference if, like, all of them are gold. If everything is on the green bar, it will not always be a plus three. Really? Really. Ooh. Not even close. Huh. I had two things on the gold bar, and it said it was going to turn out brilliantly. And I got, like, a perfection yeah. thing after so I made it. Yeah, so when it says perfection, that's when you get a plus three. Otherwise, you'll get a uh, plus one or a plus two. When you're reworking an item? Yeah. Huh. Or if you mess up a plus zero yeah. perfection is the only way to get plus threes and plus threes aren't necessarily just like D D plus threes it's not like you just get plus three extra damage no yeah i think it's it's like a pretty significant increase actually a oh, i have a plus three copper chopper nice whenever you have gear that like you think you might be using for a while getting it to plus three is like a pretty worthy time investment. And it's not like it's a awful mini game. It gets better the more flourishes you have as well. There's also a casino in Dragon Quest 11. You can spend a lot of time there. Ask Heather. Ask Heather how much time we've spent in Dragon Quest casinos. Don't make me go back. <laughs> oh, I can't open that chest yet. Bamboozled again, boys. Rip. Man, now I have to remember that chest for, like, a long time. Okay. Okay. Everybody remember that chest is there. I, I have video evidence now. That's so good. I should just like put... Oh, yeah, I should just put something about the chest in the video title. That way I can remember it if I'm ever looking through my old videos and I'm like, man, is there something I'm forgetting? So now I just need to remember to look through my old videos at some point. Mm. So for all the things they think of in this game, detail-wise... I just found this Idrisil branch, and they say that my, the mark on the main character's hand is glowing, and it is not. They <laughs> failed. It is in the cutscene, yep. but it was not when it, you got the die. It might have stopped after. It might have started right as it happened. Who knows? But yeah, that's probably just something they were like, fuck. Too difficult. How much HP did she get? That is a really insignificant heal. That seems like a very not good skill. I wonder if she heals more if she kills a unit with it. Let's see. She killed two units. One. That is a very bad heal. That is a bad skill. That is useless. 
unless like it scales really well with like relatively minor damage increases. Learn Mercurial Thrust. Can thrust mercurially now. Always good when you can do that. Keeps everybody happy. I'd never understood why these were called diamonds before. So they're demons, but it's spelled like die, like a game die. I never had put in that together before, like literally right now. It's because they lift their mask and they roll a six-sided die to attack you, and that does how much damage they do. Mm. Like they do like a one through six, so they'll do ten to sixty damage when they attack. But they don't always use that skill. Had never figured that out before. I was always like, that's a pun I don't get. Because most of the puns I get. Oh, I missed the chest symbol. Okay, let's go turn this dog back into a woodcutter. <laughs> Dude, the fight that you're about to go in, surprisingly hard on hard mode. I like, gotta remember which way I came from. Um, if you're looking at the house, it should be left and then left. Like, left bridge and then left. Like, if you're Yo, standing uh, near the prayer statue and looking at the house. Emeralds over there. I'm glad to inspire somebody to play that game. It's a very good game. That cow can talk. It also Ooh. predicts the weather. I saw that. Like, it can talk. <laughs> a lot of things in Dragon Quest can talk. The cow is the only thing I've seen predict the weather. Oh, man. oh just goes on 9 HP. Half of my team is asleep. That thing didn't die. See, this is when things become problematic. Okay, he woke up, but he's not going to do anything. Oh, Jessica died before she got her spell off. Oh, okay. We are going to keep going, even with a dead dead Jessica. I don't think I have anything to bring her back. We're really hoping someone can hit that Chimera before it acts. And it worked. That is one thing. Resurrecting... Fallen party members in Dragon Quest is not easy. Of course, this time none of you are affected by it. Assholes. Jessica's like my enemy softener. Like, this is going to take a lot longer with her gone. <laughs> Oh, ouch. <laughs> Tricky devil hits you hard? Yeah, with a sizz. Yup. Real big sizz. <laughs> yup. Dude, AoE damage is a problem. Early on in Dragon Quest. Because all your heals are single target. I'm gonna have to heal myself. Yep. It's the first time I've healed myself. What a wildly different game from difficulty level alone. Just like that one draconian quest tick box actually makes the game so different. Like that being the first time you heal yourself is patently ridiculous to me. Oh, there's a little, little monster boy over here I've never fought before. Well, we're not gonna do that. Why are the chimeras everywhere? The chimeras make me upset. Because they do 30 AoE damage. Oh, he's healing himself. He healed himself for 40. <laughs> yep. Well, eventually, I, I have you gotten your characters pepped up yet? Yes, I have one pep attack. The real decoy. Yeah. It, it's quite good. 
it basically wins that fight if that fight goes long enough. I which, only needed which, my MC to be pepped. Yeah, which I'm like, I don't think it will go that long on it's the done, yeah. Draconian quest mode. But... Yeah, it took me forever to battle enough things to get both my characters pepped up. Yep. Or I could turn in that quest. Oh yeah, there's that the uh, sword guy. Yep. How have you enjoyed breaking pots and barrels? It's good. Finding mini metals. Do you know what you do with mini metals? Nope. Okay. I haven't even looked at them in my inventory. Later, there's a place you can turn them in and you get, like, gear for turning in a certain amount. And, like, it keeps cool. going up. They're a collectible that gives you, like, some free gear, basically. It's not always the most relevant gear, but it's usually interesting at the very least. Stop with the chimeras. These guys can actually, like, almost one-shot half of my party. Why? I feel like playing the game normally, these chimeras are almost not a problem at all. Because you have better weapons and you, like, two-shot them. But, like, turning that two-shot into a three-shot changes the speed at which they die a lot. Mm -hmm. When you only have three attacking characters right now. Jessica's gonna get so far behind on experience. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Oh well. She starts a little behind anyway. It just means if we ever fight, like... I ever luck out and find some metal slimes or something, she'll catch right up. So the problem now is I only have one unit attacking because the other two need to heal every turn. Oh, he left. Why did everyone get their information from their grandfathers in this game? Who else has gotten information from their grandfather? This woodcutter. Um, you're found by your grandfather. And Gemma talks about her grandfather. And there was one other random NPC oh. that talked about their grandfather. Okay, Gemma's... Gr I think... Gemma's grand... No? Who is Gemma's grandfather? He's the mayor. Is that, the, is that her grandfather? I thought that was her father. No, it was her grandfather. Mmm. Okay. My brain is broken. I don't know, man. Dragon Quest likes grandfathers. I don't know. Who else are you supposed to get your worldly information from? I don't understand the decision to have Chalky dead when you start the game um i think it's just like i think you'll understand later okay i got to go down a well if in you nice. going down wells is fun i think you'll understand later if you're paying relatively close attention so what better is very jealous of the mc's hair dude his hair is sick do you see his hair Okay, I walked all this way and lost the party member for a seed of agility. Well, Ooh, scale shields. I'm not using mm, shields right now, but that's cool. You can always make them to sell. True. I've only taken one. Oh, actually, I've taken two skills in the Great Sword Tree. Yeah. Because I've only taken one, so, like, it's not. You get more later. Yeah. But, hey, everyone. Thanks for hanging out as we kind of got nothing done this episode. But that'll change next episode because we're going to climb the mountain thing that we have to after we listen to the story from the grandmother who we get the information from to climb the mountain thing and then go into the moon world. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out. Like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Peace. Do all that fun.